Hey there, in today's video we are going to explore the intriguing world of carrier proteins and channel proteins. Carrier proteins and channel proteins are both integral to the functioning of cell membranes. One key difference is that carrier proteins undergo conformational changes to transport molecules across the membrane, while channel proteins form a water-filled pore. Another difference is that carrier proteins typically transport specific molecules, whereas channel proteins are more selective in terms of size and charge. Carrier proteins usually undergo a series of conformational changes to transfer molecules across the membrane, while channel proteins allow for passive diffusion. Carrier proteins are slower in comparison to channel proteins due to their conformational changes, which require time. Channel proteins are classified as either ion channels or protein channels depending on the types of molecules they transport. Carrier proteins require energy in the form of ATP to facilitate the transport of molecules across the membrane. Channel proteins are usually open and allow for continuous transport, while carrier proteins require a binding step. Carrier proteins can transport larger molecules such as glucose, while channel proteins are mainly involved in the transport of ions. Carrier proteins are involved in both active and passive transport, depending on the concentration gradient, while channel proteins primarily facilitate passive transport. So those were seven key differences between carrier proteins and channel proteins. Remember, both types of proteins play crucial roles in maintaining the integrity and functionality of cell membranes. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos on cell biology and related topics.